What's going on guys? I'm the Diablo 2 enthusiast here for another Diablo 2 gameplay commentary. This time we are going for um, Tal's armor specifically, which I doubt we'll find on this video, but that is what we are going for. Haven't played in a couple days, had some plans over the weekend, so we'll see. I might die a couple times here as I kind of find my bearings. Whoops. Yep, fingers already feel sticky. Alright. Um, so... Talrosh's armor is fairly difficult to find. Um, it has to be from level 85 or up areas, is my understanding. So basically, as we previously discussed, that means we're going to Ancient City, Mausoleum, uh, most importantly, Andariel and Mephisto don't drop those items. Which means, if we're going to be doing this, uh, Mephisto's weapon rack would be the only thing Mephisto could drop, which... I mean, considering, like I said, I usually get crazy good items off weapon racks over time. Oops. Good start. Lots of enemies to kill right from the beginning. Um, yeah, as I was previously saying. Ow, okay. Didn't mean to actually click forward into that and get myself blasted, but I did. Um... I do not have anything with the Cannot Be Frozen mod, which is unfortunate. Makes everything just a little bit harder. Especially down here, where there is a good, decent amount of freezing. Wow, this is actually a great, uh, a great map. So, one thing, if you're playing single player, one thing that's kind of neat is um, you get to keep the maps that you discover. That's trash. The reason that that could be useful is if you get a map that has a very good pattern and a good spawn, particularly in Lower Kurost, um, you can really leverage that to get some wildly good drops. But online, that's not how it works. So a lot of times some single player, people will refresh their maps uh, until they get the map that they want and they'll just leave it there. Which I think would be a nice, nice perk for playing single player because you can't be trading necessarily. So another thing that kind of comes to mind when I upload Gummins here about Diablo 2, which I'm enjoying playing for the moment, is, you know, I don't know what the longevity for this game is, because, like I said, you know, the, the grind is the gear, which I find relaxing and kind of fun, and it's not super high effort, honestly. It's high effort in the number of repetitions you do and things like that. Not in terms of the difficulty, which makes it a little bit easier to do commentary on as opposed to some other games. Um, definitely a lot easier than Dota 2, but then again, everything's easier than Dota 2. Um, I do want to pick that up, actually. Um, Magic Claws can sometimes get really good trap rolls. Usually not, but the same thing is true about everything you pick up. It probably won't be good, which can be unfortunate if you get tired of not finding good items and you're getting desperate. One thing I consider doing is since Ancient Tunnels and Pindle are fairly easy, there's probably an argument here that I could really change out my gear and run some more uh, some more magic find here. That way, if say you know something did drop, it would have increased odds of being you know a magical item, which in this case would be a unique or a set item, which are both things I am craving here. But that also reduces the chance you find of like good socketed items. And considering I actually still need a good F socket base, it's just kind of stay where we're at. We're just shy of 300 and call it even. Once we get an Oculus, um, it'd be about 300, which is where we want to be. I'm not even sure what our weapon is anymore. Yeah, Tal's Eye, of course, because we're going for full Tal set on a long enough timeline. Which, the problem with going for full Tal set is, of course, um, the best part is, without a doubt, the the armors. The armor and the amulets are probably the best parts of the set. Um, with really, for me, more of us being placed on the armor. Kind of puts you a scenario where you're like really miserable to run these things if you're not. Uh... All right, we're done here. Really misrun those things if you don't have the armor. You're like, I'm kind of restricted to these items because I need some of these set bonuses, but I don't have what I want. Also, spawning in Act 5 is probably a mistake. The 
run to the waypoint is pretty far. It's a big map. Stay a while. That's okay, though. Like I said, we'll still probably be shooting for under five minutes for the whole run. Plus three Mind Blast. Only one Blade Fury. Close to actually being good. Mind Blast is one of the mods you actually want. Alright. Lost City. Here we go again. Now, of course, the Where is the Ancient Tunnels game. A lot of some champs back there. Arguably worth stopping to kill, but based upon, you know, our run this time is really emphasizing... Oh, that's actually pretty nice. It's really focused on finding Tal's armor, which is the the big piece that's going to really complete at least the, the entry-level gear for my character and going to really enable me to start pushing into other characters. Um, so I still won't be done. I mean, it won't be a three-piece Tal set, which I'd rather run like an Oculus and a Shaco or a Death's Fathom and junk like that, but... Honestly, it'll be fun just to start gearing a different character, and right now all my trades are going towards... I'll take it. Take pretty much all my gems. Sets of 40 of pretty much anything is valuable. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of enemies here. Oh, including a... I need to get better about shift clicking so I don't walk forward and get myself getting smacked around. Drop a couple blizzards here. All right. Like I said, I break all pots. I'm a believer that it's always a good use of your time to break pots that you see. Oops. Getting immune to cold guy here, so it's going to take a minute. We'll let our mercenary get it done. Small charm. Some chance it'll be useful to me. Greater chance it will be, of course, useless. I actually haven't found a, any good GG small charms yet. I've found some decent small charms. Yeah, that's not the one. Small resist charms are good, but I'm not carrying a charm for 1 to 2%. That is not worth it to me. And the mercenary is getting beat down a little bit. We're going to teleport back to give him some space. I actually don't take flawed, I only take chipped and perfect. Because people tend to trade and or the recipes in the game tend to use the high end or low end of the scale. Not a lot of the middle gems are needed for a lot of things. Rat's nest. Whoop. So far, nothing exciting, but we're just getting started. Like I said, you'd be lucky to find anything on any of your runs, let alone at the start of a run. Although, the start of the run is just as likely to find good items as the end of the run. Got some elites here, so worth... Rare Succubus Skull. It's gonna be worth a good bit of gold, which is good. Try to pick up items that vendor for a lot, because gold actually lets you gamble. Also, lets me revive my mercenary when it inevitably dies. The thing about on timing this run is you're gonna spend a lot more time in Ancient Tunnels than you will in Pendle, obviously. Dude, we're getting poisoned to hell and back. Just really shitty. Um, just so much damage over time. Part of it is I can't see because it's super dark in here. I don't have like light radius, and I haven't messed with my brightness or anything to make it easier to see. I don't think I will. Right. It's gonna be the end of this ancient tunnel run. So. kill all the little guys because one of the best way to find the ruins is just to kill lots of enemies. Alright. We are done here. Alright. So we are going to quickly get Pendle. And, oops. Yes. A little bit slow on this run. Is this good? Nope. Very bad. Pendle in a new game. Pendle, of course, can drop Tal's armor, and he is a very quick to access super unique, which makes him fairly valuable to slay. Nada. I do want that full rejuve, though. Alright, we're out. About five minutes around, like I said. So, 12 runs an hour. 
you know, over the span of a couple months, we might find Tal's armor, you know. At this point, it's kind of a real test of, will we find Tal's armor or something different but good? I mean, at this point, Pindle has ever ne never actually dropped me anything that isn't useless. So that's another thing for me, is will Pindle ever drop me anything that's good? Okay, well, I didn't realize he's still alive, and I kind of let my Merc at the kill, which means no magic find for it. Ya yeah, boy. But... Sorry. Good afternoon. Top these off. All right, let's roll. Uh, misclick. So, I was on Reddit today, and you know, sometimes the Diablo 2 player base um, is interesting to me, right? Community opinions on games always interesting to me, provided if it's not like the toxic flame fest of my genius in game design surpasses your genius in game design type of crap, but... So, I saw on the old Reddit today, which I thought was pretty interesting, was someone was saying that they really want to see spirit nerfed, because there's this, this fundamental premise that spirit invalidates all these items, and we'd have a much better game if spirit, you know, was nerfed or whatever. And, you know, that's interesting. If somebody plays, like, card games and stuff like that, where there's a lot of arguments about, like, auto four ofs and is that bad for the game and you know i don't on diablo 2 man i don't see it like i just i actually do see the all right get him get him for me um i do actually see sort of a decent argument for you know, not having these completely op items but at the same time, I'm not actually sure when people say that what they're really looking for in a game like Diablo 2. Like, some sort of weird, like, argument for, like, item diversity? There's probably always going to be a best-in-slot item. So I'm not sure if those people are just hoping for a harder experience, at which point I would argue, don't use Spirit if you don't want to? Because before we had Spirit, it was always, you know, Rhyme and Storm Shield. There was still a best-in-slot just depending on what you wanted. Um, you hear these really weird arguments to me that just like blow my mind when someone's like, you know what we should do? We should keep spirit as good as it is, right? And then we should make it require like a Sir or a Cham Ruin. Because you know, we need to make the grind harder. Even though your odds of finding ruins are already like absolute trash. Um, which is fine, it's already, once again, that's part of the experience, but it's like, the few items you can get that have good drop rates um, that are good is, you know, people don't even want those to exist. Like, I'm telling you, people perplex me in how they want to try to artificially inflate this game's difficulty by making the items hard to find. Like, there's no need. Like, at the end of the day, the spirit isn't necessarily going to be what makes the game easy for you. It's going to be the fact that Diablo's fundamentally a pretty easy game to just get through. It's not meant to be that hard. Um... You hear about people that don't really want quality of life improvements. They actually want the game to be harder. Um, but you know, if you want a challenge, you might be playing the wrong game. Um, and it's possible I'm playing the wrong game too, but once again, I just reiterate, it's interesting that people seem to exist in this world where like, if these damn overpowered rune words like spirit didn't exist, all my trash uniques wouldn't be trash. I'm like, no, they would all be trash. I was playing back before rune words were popular. Um, you know, back when Fury Clubs used to be considered very good weapons in slot. Uh, seems best in slot. You know, I remember that, and back when many of the uniques were still good, and etc. I'm not sure why the, the big press to yearn for that, or to, you know, we need to make these ladder-only rune words, that way they will be more rare. Like, no one is going to want to buy your POS shields. Because <laughs> I really feel like that usually comes down to, is I want shields to be, you know, these random items in slot to be not trash. I'm telling you, I, I run into an overwhelming majority of players. I'm just, pfft, they're still bad. <laughs> like, you know, same with, like, is it really so important to you to hit FCR breakpoints? You know, so now it's not even about nerfing the item, it's about making it more rare. You know, if we make it rare, we'll fix the balance problem. Like, no, your balance will still be hot garbage. You'll just feel more elite for having the items that, uh, trivialize the game, quote-unquote. I just don't get it. Like, Diablo 2 is, in a lot of ways, not an expression of skill. The boss fight mechanics are pretty simple. 
you know, if you're willing to do some Googling, you can find areas to farm, so on and so forth. Like, it's a farming simulator that already has so many items. It's inconceivable. You look at how long it takes people that run, like, the Holy Grail type experience, which is, you know, I want to find every item in the game. That is the end game for Diablo 2, which, that's actually probably true. Not, like, even useful stuff. I just want every item, baby. All right, cool. I can... I'm gonna abort that if you like magic find and you're looking for something to play long term. Easy on the wallet. Blah blah blah. You know. Works for single player too, which is great, because right now Battle.net's kinda kinda poop. Um I'm down with that. I actually get the appeal to that. What I don't get the appeal of is like randomly single out certain items you don't have to be best in slot anymore, you know. Spirit's too common, it has to be hard to find. That way, you know, it's even harder to get geared. That will make the game fun. Spirit's like a great way for people to get their first useful item. You know, well, if they run Spirit Sword and Spirit Shield, they're pretty much already geared almost instantaneously as a caster. Like, sure. If you're a melee character, your leveling experience will be a joke if you're wearing Sigins. I mean, it's not as easy as Source, but without an Enigma, Teleport will always make everything easier if that's your priority. So once again, I'm just not sure what we're going for. Some sort of rollback to a different game, I guess. We don't want anything to be too good. We want our crap uniques to be more valuable. Um, or, you know, we want to make it use a Chammer or Sir Ruin because, you know, people should have to earn these very good items, you know? Ooh. <laughs> no, not a Magic Shaco. I need it to be a unique Shaco. So I get not having enough Magic Find, you know? I'm kidding. Even if I had more Magic Find, there's never any way to guarantee it will ever be a unique or a set. Most of the time it usually isn't. So it's just mathematically the the process. Um, one thing I pointed out on this Reddit thread, long story short, was I said, you know, if we're really going to talk about doing this, so if, you know, I want to sir a cham on my spirit, you know, so people have to earn it, it's like, then take off the, the range, right? Like, as someone who's rolled my own CTAs and I have rolled, you know, a plus one, you know, for those of you not familiar, CT is call to arms. It lets you cast battle orders, a skill that buffs your stats considerably when you use it. Um, you know, I've been that guy that's rolled a plus one CTA, and it's just really frustrating. You're like, I just downgraded the worth of my item just because I'm unlucky. Because already it took, had to be super lucky to get the item. Like, why have these feels bad moments? Like, boy, no room. If you have to work that hard to, to get items, I really feel as though the game should not have these ranges, you know, so that's just this Reddit thread, well, I'm against this whole idea, I think it sucks, and if we're gonna do it, I at least want, you know, my spirit to get a guaranteed 35, you know, FCR, you know, I don't want to even think about the frustration I would feel if I got, like, a 25 FCR spirit, um, when I was rolling, I was like, you know, that's crap, like, if we're gonna make it require these high ruins, let's give a guaranteed roll, people were like, no, that's dumb, because... You know, all these other runes already have you know, these ranges, and they all sort of, but it's not the same thing. For example, if you're talking about like a Heart of the Oak that rolls, you know, resistances randomly. Everyone wants a high resist one, everyone wants the best item they can. But if your Hodo runs crappy resistances, for the most part, a Hodo is still going to do what a Hodo needs to do. For Spirit on a lot of builds, if you don't roll close to the perfect percent, it's honestly not something you're going to run. So you're basically turning some of the highest value items in the game and making them hot garbage if you're unlucky. I, I just don't get the motivation. Like, I've never understood this idea of like, we need more build diversity in our Diablo 2. It's never gonna happen. It's not gonna increase build diversity. It's just gonna see, can more people find a spirit rich enough to get the, the high end spirits. Um, so cool, we we'll remove spirit from the game entirely. And I guess I'm more on board with that, but you're still gonna find a lot of best in slot builds. There's never this magical build diversity because Diablo 2 just isn't that complex of a character design system when it's all said and done. There's nothing wrong with that. I think there are games on the market which I don't play or claim to understand. Can I help you? Um, like Path to Exile, but uh, I'm actually gonna keep those these days because I want to re-roll them. <laughs> um. Whoops, missed. For Pendle, this is one of those times where having a lot of magic fun would probably be worth it because, I reiterate, Pendle's never really hard. 
Yeah. All right. Go, my mercenary. Distract my enemies. <laughs> I think Diablo 2 has adequate grind that if somebody crafts a rune word of any sort, I feel quite quite strongly in that it should roll well. Um, the fact that there are ranges on these items has always bothered me. Because you're it's so hard to find anything as it is. Like adding an additional layer of RNG and calling it content just seems like stupid to me. Sure, you get your dopamine if you find the perfect one, and you know, I'm okay with ranges on less meaningful stats. Like, okay, you know, if you want to perfect Kodo, you know, that's fine. Like, let the damage have a range, a small one. Or, let's talk defense, right? Like, defense on items varies. For the most part, unless your defense is just bottom of the barrel, I don't really care. People pay more for a perfect defense, you know, Shaco, even though at the end of the day, Shaco has pretty terrible defense and always will. People pay more for perfection. I think I'm okay with that. But I still feel strongly the range should be pretty tight on rune word items because they're so rare. But then again the same argument is rune words are overpowered. Like, well yeah, but you know them making them harder to find doesn't make them less overpowered, it makes them more exclusive. Which once again is stupid, in my opinion. So that's my rant about you know, RNG on top of RNG. I am not, like, a big fan of, like, multiple roles person. Like, if it drops, it drops. Like, why do I have to worry about the stats being, like, dog shit? Like, how much sense of artificial achievement do people need in their games? Like, it just has to be totally bananas to get my hands on. Otherwise, I won't feel like I earned my dominance on my character. Like, I played, I grind this gear. Like, bro, there's so much grinding in Diablo 2 that... You know, it wouldn't really matter if it was a perfect roll or not. Like, if it, you know, at the end of the day, even if every item was, you know, rolled perfect the minute you get it, there's still a, tons and tons of craft and rare amulets that have ideal mods that are so unbelievably rare. Like, you're going to be fine. Everyone's going to be fine. Like, there's enough grind here that no matter what quality of life changes we make, I feel confident you will have plenty of grind to worry about. But like I said, there's some sort of purists that probably are the people that have been playing Diablo 2 exclusively for 20 years. Um, or stopped playing after 1.09, came back, and they found all these big bad ruin words. I hate Enigma. It invalidates the chess slot for so many classes. Never mind the fact that really the end game is PvP. Which, speaking candidly, the PvP is pretty much... Oh, six slot it super fancy crystal sword. I actually will keep that. I'm, I'm sure I can find a, a not useful, but exciting home for that. Six socket crystal sword in my experience is typically not something you're looking for. Um, six socket phase, you know, etc. But I think it actually would be more exciting if it was a phase blade, of course, but what are you going to do? Okay, a lot of set items dropping. I don't think any of them are good. Let's see what this is. The Discipline Crindium. Oh, I'll keep that. I think I've almost have a lot of the other slots I'm working on. Dragoon's Teachings. Huh, well, okay. Neat. I said I found other pieces of that. I, I don't think I found one of those on this character, but... I'll never wear it. Um, but I actually don't deny that was kind of interesting. It's, it's exciting to see stuff you haven't seen before. Now, of course, now, unfortunately, I'll never want to see it again, so... So another thing is, I heard people were saying that bots are finally coming out to Diablo 2. Like, quality, decent to detect bots. And I'm like, well, they can't say I'm just so shocked. Um, a lot of people are, like, really dismayed by this. I honestly couldn't care less. It'll lower the value of all items. Um, uniques in particular, which rune words are already the most valuable item, so I am. That ancient armor was ethereal. I might have been able to do something with it. Kind of a hot streak. No items I would necessarily say are like super useful to me, but I would say that we are finding a lot of them. 
once again, it's nice to see different items than what you're usually getting. Alright, magic pots for the end of the run. Something good? Nope. Nothing good. I want to say that we started in... Right, we got to do some inventory management real quick. Siggins, the Discipline, Sanders, can I interest anyone in a via Tenet? Because I've got three. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure, I think we already did Pendle, so this is probably a waste of a minute or so, but it'll be alright. I think that I can afford it. Once again, so I'm going to hit Deckard Kane here real okay. quick. I, I D some stiff. You know, I'm kind of bummed out. Uh, not a big deal, but I actually wish this was the full 15% on the increased durability so I could be like, it is the perfect six socket crystal sword. You don't want it, but it's, <laughs> it's the perfect six socket crystal sword. Yeah, these are all trash. Okay, yep. Yeah. We're done here. Alright, another run. Like I said, my, uh, my big hope, of course, is to find Talrosh's armor. I believe the odds are 1 in 6,000. So, it could be a lot of runs. <laughs> it could mean, I mean, it will be. Could this be a trap? Nice, got some flawless gems. Go ahead and pop that just to get out of my inventory. Back to Lost City. Tiles armor, tiles armor, tiles armor, tiles armor, tiles armor. <laughs> or, you know, you don't want to be too choosy. Any any item that doesn't suck, but tiles armor, please. Tiles armor, and then we'll decide about what character we want next. I definitely want a smiter so I can kill Ubers, but. In general, I'm, of course, receptive to most items that are good. Oh, is it six slots? No. There's some interesting things, my understanding, you can do with those when there's six slots. One more bow. Three. Nope, you need four socks. Hit through in. Not good. Like I said, I need my runes to be a little bit higher than that, please. We're gonna get rune drops. Something good, please. Ah! That's yeah, trash. Unless it's a skiller, I haven't seen a lot of grand charms I actually like, frankly. Might have been Geats, I guess, a unique. Geats for the magic find, but most importantly for the gambling. Hello? Traps, no items. Okay, so we're gonna come down here. Okay, so I actually prefer the more varied run where you go through math and Andy and stuff, but honestly, the items I need are pushing me towards these level 85 areas. Because the other thing is, if, let's say I find a Shaco, which would be much more likely for math or Andy. Um, the bummer there is. I don't see a world where I trade those items because they're just needed on so many characters. It's like I'm pretty much stuck with keeping it, which good problem to have, I know, but it's not going to get me towards Tal's armor. I don't have a lot of liquid currency, so. But remember, you know, I play this roughly an hour to two hours a day, and you would pretty much exclusively grind. Um, but, you know, there's not enough grind, guys. <laughs> You gotta increase the grind, otherwise people won't feel, you know, adequately challenged. It's just crap, man. I kind of wonder, like... I don't want games dumbed down, no, no argument for that. But there is some part of it that's like, man, how much free time do y'all have? Like, folks on Reddit who are like, you know, I want this game to require tens of thousands of hours. 
you're like, well, I didn't play that much, and I have all the items. Okay, cool. So it was like an expression of your skill. Tell me, how are you more skillful than other Diablo 2 players that allowed you to get all these items? Oh, well, I farm smart, and I know the economy, and, you know, on day one, an SOJ and a Shaco dropped for me, and I traded them to D2JSP for a fortune. I'm a genius. Like, I mean, that was wise, but to a point, those items dropped for you, which really made a lot of difference. Well, yeah, but that's that's not really the the operative part here. What's operative is my overwhelmingly amazing intellect as a gamer. Like, clearly. All right. I have a good friend um, who's been pushing me to play Path to Exile. He's watched a little bit of my Diablo 2 content, and he's pushed really hard that, the, uh, that Path to Exile is just better in every way, man, and if there's any PoE viewers out there who happen to catch this video, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, um, whether you're a grizzled vet or somewhat new, what are the pros and cons in your opinion? It's, it's likely I just need to try it for myself, but I'm, I'm always intrigued by what people have to say, particularly when it comes to in-game farming. A lot of people have told me, and I'm not claiming this to be true, I'm claiming this to be what I've heard, that the in-game and PoE in terms of farming is actually just as, if not more, frustrating than the Diablo 2 experience. Uh, because the difficulty of getting an item that isn't... Well, rather, the possibility of getting an item that would be considered best in slot or in-game type of thing is just incredibly difficult. Uh, even more so than Diablo 2. I'm like, dude, Diablo 2, in my opinion, is already pretty tough, so I'm not sure, like, if I can take much more. That's always an interesting conversation for me with games of service models, because I do like a sense of progression, but part of me, too, is kind of like, I don't know, I want to be able to reasonably believe the day will come where I'll be like, you know what, this is maxed. At least this character is maxed. Let's start something new. I honestly feel like I have better odds of that on Diablo 2 than on PoE, from what I've heard. Uh, but that could be completely wrong. Like I said, I haven't played PoE, and certainly not in the end game. Once again, I'd be interested to hear from people who are at the end game what they think. What is the experience? Now, of course, my Pew, my my buddy who plays Pew, also indicated that the the end game for Pew would ultimately be more fun to farm, whether it was better or not. You know, that might be a factor too, if it's true. Impossible. Can't pick it up with the telekinesis, of course. God for telekinesis. We're slowed, but we can still open all these incredibly quickly. So far, we're killing boss packs. A lot of community colds this time. Ow! I tried to back out of that, but didn't quite make it. I thought about um, switching over to to like a blizzball source just to be something a little more interesting, um, or just going like frozen orb and oh god, got mana burned, or going like frozen orb plus something. I've heard frozen orb plus firewall is really really good, so that does sound fun just to mix up the spell rotation a little bit. But for what I'm really trying to do here, I do feel like this is... Good lord! Everything that dies, uh... If I'm too close, of course, the death animation almost takes me out just because my resistances suck and my HP sucks. So I'm a source. You know, unless you're like an E-Shield source, one thing that I've always kind of thought about when you're leveling your sorceress is like... You know, of course there's respects to kind of save you, but... It's not necessarily intuitive if you're a sorceress to be like, wow... I really, really should not put any points in energy. Stats trash. It's really very few, practically no classes, or arguably no classes, unless they have some sort of very specific sub build, uh, build, build, excuse me, should be leveling um, energy, right? So you have this basically this dump stat. Oh baby, mantled heal, calling it now. Mantled heal, 
Could be anything. It's a level 85 area, so everything from something very good to something that is complete and utter trash. And, of course, statistically speaking, it will be utter trash. Y'all ready? Huh, Nagel Ring. A lot worse, honestly. It's not worth anything, but, um, you know, a couple more points of magic find, plus it's a unique ring. Feels better in the slot. I guess we found an item tonight. Arguably not rare or good, or probably something we could have traded for on the ground pretty easily. Um, especially because it's not a perfect, you know, if it had been a perfect major ring, it not only would have been worth something, it would have been cool. But it's Diablo 2, and you know, we've got to have a stat range on every single item so that the item can range from extremely valuable or you know, pretty good to just, you know, vendor food. Tell you, it really baffles the mind how that used to be like a very common game design feat. Alright, we're all done here. Off to Pendle. Kick these real quick. Hell Ruin! Alright, that might be the best thing we found tonight so far. So our inventory is getting fairly cluttered. Greetings! This is worthless. Got a friend messaging me, but we're in the middle of commentary, so we're going to respond here a little bit later. Dump these runes in here. I'm not going to organize them right now. Worthless. 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 Alright, off to Pendle. Straight up to Act 5. Now Pendle, then save exit. Whoa! Okay, I just got punched in the face by Pendle. Feels good. going. Coming up on the hour mark. Feels good. Straight to Pendle this time as we spawn in Act 5. Based upon when we save, quit it. This be a trap. Okay, nothing of value. Alright, we out. Since we're here, we got distracted drinking from the well anyway. So far, the best thing we found is either a Hell Ruin or a Nagel Ring. It's about an hour of gameplay. Not done yet, but once again, goes to show you be very, very patient. Distracted by the pretty gold. Come on, ancient tunnels. One thing I, uh, a hack I've never used, but man, I would love to have it, would be a map hack. I am not a big fan of searching for stuff on Diablo 2 in general. It'd be nice if I could just, uh, know where I'm going, you know. I'd be like, sweet if, like, oh, okay. If you complete it, there's so many quests in Diablo 2 that were never worth doing. Because the rewards don't mean anything to an end game character, and the odds of it can be helpful for your early game character are pretty slim. One thing that would make me feel better anyway would be if, like, if I complete all the things in the act. And I literally cannot find a ancient tunnels here, man. Complete all the quests in an act to let me reveal the entire map from spawn. Like, why not? Okay, seriously, where are the ancient tunnels, man? In the middle here? Some turrets here. <laughs> Alright, well. Got some strong feels on that, but we'll just, uh. 
Let it go for now. Let it go for now. Okay, treasure chest right at the start. Impossible. Right. Trash. Ah, the blizzard didn't go off. I clicked uh, off map so it didn't trigger. to break the monotony. I could start adding mausoleum, but once again, I, I really think it's a lousy place to magic find. Like, it's 85, which is cool, but like, the monster density just feels real, real bad. I don't know. It doesn't seem efficient at all. Go down here. Nada. Some gold. Here. Like I said, the real the real quest is gonna be what will give me better items, you know, in the long run. Who will give me the first really high value item? Is it gonna be ancient tunnels or is it gonna be Pendle? I mean statistically speaking at this point it should be tunnels because I'm just killing so much more here, but it takes a lot longer to run ancient tunnels than it does pendle. We're gonna pick that up. I don't know why folks, but I just always I'm like, oh a rondel, that's a paladin shield. Maybe I can get plus resist or whatever, and you're like, that is not a paladin shield, my dude. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's not. Lots of champions here. Go go blizzard. Good chunk of gold there. Grab a healing potion and get topped off here. I don't want to die. Uh, can Grand Scepter? No, it won't be. When it comes to scepters, the only ones I really want are the ones that are big. Um, make an FOH stick. Alright. Let me see him. Alright, baby, we're done. On to another one. And hit Deckard Kane, clean up the old inventory a little bit. So right now we are encumbered. You know what though? We do have three worthless amulets, I believe. Yep, yep. Uh yep. Alright. It's also worthless. It's also worthless. Perfect. Alright, feels good. Hello. Back to the ancient tunnels. Pop off some frost armor here. All right. Come on, ancient tunnels entrance. Come on, ancient tunnels interest. None of that is the ancient tunnels. Whoa, 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 conviction, conviction. <laughs> conviction, very dangerous. I think my already bad resistance is basically negative 100. Alright. Enemies run very fast. Very scary. Uh, ancient tunnels? Ancient tunnels. Nope. Alright, back now, I guess. Oh, there it is. Alright, ancient tunnels. Need a champ share of any sort. Y'all, I really think my next build should either be like something just completely off like, off the deep end or oh, Hydra Edge, that's a useless sword. You know, I kinda would like 
I need to look about like low t low value Not items I do kind of I do actually kind of want. Gosh darn it, I'm clicking all over this. I think I would really enjoy um What's it? Uh an ethereal durial shell. Like right now my Merc is running a regular durial shell and like I'm actually pretty impressed with it, man. I'm almost tempted to like Five sockets. Fascinating. It's not worthwhile because that type of bow is not useful to me, but a uh, neat little find. I guess there's more superior bows. Where is my superior phase blade? Alright, so hit the chest. Nada. Ow! I'm actually amazed by how much damage some of this stuff is doing to me, dude. Wow. Like, poured in and just get and smacked around, dude. It like, hurts real bad. Dude, this is what I'm saying. What is hitting me? Just take a chill pill. Like that was crazy how much damage Good I just to took there. I'm not sure what was beating on me and I just couldn't see it, but I was like smack, half my HP, smack, half my HP. I was like, wow, alright. Let's just uh move on. So I getting beat on by teleporting molt fist and I didn't even know it. You know, I would not be surprised. I think once we hit the hour mark, this time we're gonna probably end with one Hell Mephisto as opposed to a Nightmare. Just for giggles. So far, none of these are useful. A little blizzard blizzard. <laughs> Good lord. This is like a bad run, man. I'm getting poisoned over and over for like all my HP. Good day. Uh, worthless. It's almost kind of messy. A lot of a lot of zombies on this spawn. Got poisoned a lot. Oh, there we go, elites. Come on, baby. Evan needs an item, a real item. I can't say it wasn't a lot of enemies, but I don't think I saw anything of any value in there. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of... Nah, not a... Disappointing. For whatever reason, not I kind of had my sixth sense going off. I'm like, this is gonna be a moment where we're gonna get an item. We did not. How may I help you? Diablo be that way, I guess. Alright. Let's kill my boy Pendle Skin. Could this be a trap? Ah, he's sent. Rejuve. Alright, we out I'm gonna guess about two more runs. Um, then we will be ready for our sign-off run on Mephisto, and we'll we'll hope for the best here. Found a couple perfect gems. Found a hell ruin. Got a very limited amount of experience. Well, again. Cool. A 
Lost City we go. City. Come on, Lost City. Yeah, I'm feeling like I want to go back down this way. Oop, oop, oop. Alright. Do not yield an ancient tunnel's door. Down here, up here, there, nope, up. Fast running boys. Alright. There it is. Pendle's already down, so this will be the end of this game once we get through here. Set ring. Go, go, Cathins. Although I do kind of actually want an Angelic if I can find it. Really, we've just been getting a lot of captains. Ooh. Found an angel ring. So I don't have the Catholic, the angelic uh, rings plus, plus amulet combo to level my characters and get some attack rating. I do want that, which is something I believe I will naturally fine without too, too much work. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Champions, better drop rates. Better drop rates without better items. TP forward here. Huh. Alright, back down. Let's go this way. Let me kill this champion real quick. I am over there. Oh, light plate. I can't carry anymore. Huh, out of space again. Is not good. Ethereal light plate. Nope. Came with some sockets. I might mess with it, but it doesn't. I'm not willing to socket that. No matter what I get, it won't be worth my time. Archon plate. I probably would have threw some sockets in there with the recipe. Like, why not? Okay, amulet. Very nice. Moon is a bad shield, I believe. Like I said, some of the elite item types, I don't remember exactly what they are. I just know that they're not good. Right. Usually a good sign. If I don't recognize the name, it usually means it's bad. Not 100% of the time, but very often. Matriarch Spear. No. Nope. I'm not going back to that one mob. I can't remember if we've opened the treasure chest yet. Well, I think the best I've got on these treasure chests so far has been like a low ruin, so. Woo! my man Pendle. Can't wait to reveal this Cathins. Yes. Alright. It is an honor to serve you. Yep. Every time. Less viable than a rare ring to me. Ironically. There's rare rings I get to roll three of for a rare amulet, which almost always is not good either, but it's like I said, worth the try. Oh. Impossible. I take it back. Pendle's already dead. Whoops. 
That is my bad, folks. Alright, three bad amulets. You know what that means. Time to get a bad rank. Alright, so this is going to be our wrap-up game, because the f between Ancient Tunnels and Pendle, it should take us about five minutes, which is fine. And then we will go... Um, we will go run a boss. We'll go run Pendle, or excuse me, we'll go run Math and Dariel. That'll be our... be our sign-off, because I mean, why not? Alright, nothing here. Let's do Lost City, then we'll go back to A1, kill Andy, then we'll do Mefarino. It'll be good. We'll call it an upload and we'll hope for hope for some better drops next time we do it, you know? That's really all there is to it. Oh, 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 oh. It's gonna take a minute to chill. I'm getting a little bit nervous about what's going on here around me. Alright. Now we're good. Ancient tunnels. Trapdoor. No. Not so far. Up here, maybe? Oh, there it is. Alright, here we go. Last ancient tunnels for the day. Like I said, turn corner, get immediately mobbed by zombie. A couple of hits later, go to like 4 HP because of poison and deeps and wow. Okay, so last run, maybe, maybe a death. I'll kind of wake up here a little bit. More extremely poopy items. However, let's slow down here and just grab a healing pot, greater healing pot, healing pot. Let's pop 10,000 healing potions because we are frozen and poison and everything else. And it's like not wearing off. It's like still ticking down, man. It's actually pretty, it's actually kind of wild how long the status effects last, to be fair. Whoa. Oh, ethereal? That was ethereal. I'm gonna put something in it. Relic my mark. Like a treachery or something. Or, you know, whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I'm starting to get run fatigue. Um, so for me, the fatigue is when you haven't had any sort of drop that actually upgrades your gear in a long time. Nor have you really found anything that's like, oh man, I have to go create that class now. That's so good. Like, nah, I found a bunch of trash. Um, used up all my luck on that early SOJ drop. It was very good, but it's not like it was as good as a ruin or anything like that. Alright. A little beat down through that area. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, big packs, big packs. I need an Oculus, friends. I've recently really one is an Ethereal Herald of Zacharum that I could upgrade and then Zod one day. Uh, Herald of Zacharum is my favorite item, so having a, a very high-end Herald of Zacharum would be pretty hot for me. Okay, Grand Charm has potential to be very, very good. Many, many, many enemies. I don't know if it is, but it's not good. I can't carry anymore. I believe that might be angelic. Yeah, like I said, I know it wasn't good. I just couldn't remember what it was. All right, let's you know, faster run walk charm discipline. All right, now comes the break. All the bosses. 
we finish the area? Is there any more elites up in this little nook? Nope. Alright. Another very unsuccessful ancient tunnels. Couple magic rings. Alright. One hour in, like I said, we're ready to wrap up here. Let's go do a quick Mephi and maybe an Andariel just for all time's sake and then call it a day. Ow! At least the Durance entrance right here, that's pretty cool. Alright. what this is, but it is trash. Yeah. Trash. 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 Those are all locked, too. Unfortunate. <laughs> they're all locked, and they're all awful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll be trash, but we'll pick Rowdy. Deckard's right here. Get a quick ID on this Great junk. Thing. It's cube time. Nice. Greetings. Hail to you, champion. Let's do Andariel, and then we'll sign off. One last run. Meth being the most dangerous run, so this being less so, which is cool. Tony, I still think I had probably better drops in Nightmare, which, once again, there is nothing to that. It's so tempting to be like, well, that means I should be running Nightmare, you know? No, it's just RNG drop table, you know? When you're in Nightmare, you got some very good drops off the RNG table, felt good, so now, of course, you're biased towards thinking that's the good luck will continue. So got some gambler's fallacy stuff going on, where you're like, well, I haven't had a good drop in all this time, surely the next one will be, like, no. <laughs> No, your odds are just as bad now as they always were. Alright. Dar cat cat is level four, so we got here pretty quick. Ooh. Pretty pretty thick spawn now on the enemies. Oh no, my Merc! Yeah, I didn't potion him in time. I could have saved him if I hit him with a rejuve, but I was like. Hello. Just kind of shocked by the fact he took so much damage as quickly as he did. All right, got that Indarial poison just destroying him. Oh, bone one, that's worthless. All right, well, flawless or rejuve, full rejuve, flawless sapphire. Pick it up. Gold. Alright, we out. Alright, I appreciate everybody watching. I hope to see you next time, and have a great day.